Sheree, how are you doing? Today we are doing this. It's been a bit since I've done a full-on makeup tutorial here on YouTube that wasn't like a get ready with me or something like that, so I wanted to do one. I actually had plans to do Marceline from Adventure Time, like a full-on face paint situation, but my stuff hasn't come in yet, specifically the ears. So that is going to have to come next week, but I promise it is coming. If you're coming from my Instagram to see that tutorial, it'll be here soon. But in the meantime, I wanted to get some content out for you guys because it's been a while since I uploaded here on YouTube, so uh, we have this New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. I kind of just went for it today. This is probably the easiest tutorial I've ever done here on YouTube, so if you are looking to follow this for New Year's Eve, you have a party or something like that, then this will be really simple for you to do. All of the products that I used will be down in the description of this video, and if you do like this look and enjoy the tutorial, I would really appreciate you liking this video. It helps me out a lot with the algorithm. Also, if you are subscribed, welcome back. I'm so glad to see you guys, and if you're not subscribed already, again, feel free to do so if you enjoy this vid. Double also, I have to be a YouTuber here and say that it's completely true. Uh, if you hit the bell, you will actually be notified if I upload videos. Lots of you guys have been saying that for my past few videos, you haven't seen them in your subscription feed. So if you want to know when I upload the Marceline tutorial or any tattoo updates or weight loss updates or wig stuff, uh, things like that, then make sure to hit the bell if you are subscribed to see my content. And I think that's all. Okay. Enjoy the tutorial. Bye guys. I've already done my base. You guys have said that you've seen enough of it. Uh, I used my regular MAC Cosmetics Powder Foundation and my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So as usual, first I'm gonna be starting off with my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. I've been using this pomade for literally years. I think it was the first non-eyebrow powder product I ever used. So I'm kind of a stan at this point. And I'm gonna be filling these in until they are super sharp at the points, but not making them too long. I actually shaved off the end of my eyebrows for Halloween and I've kind of been liking how they've been looking lately so I can make the tails a little bit higher and a little bit shorter. Next I'm going to be going in with the Tarte Cosmetics Park Ave Princess Chisel Palette. This is an absolute godsend. I've been using this palette in every single makeup look I've done for probably the past like six months. It's a palette that has six different shades and I used to use the like highlighter they're not highlighters they're matte but like the lighter shades as well under my eyes but i've hit complete pan on both of them they're absolutely gone uh so i use the bronzer shade and i just put that all over my forehead all over my cheeks and around my chin as well next i'm going to be going in with my foundation shade this is just a mac powder foundation and i'm going to be creating like a bit of a bit of a harsh line there that we're going to buff out in a second and last but not least for nose contouring oh my god while i'm recording this my bunny just stood up on her hind feet she's so cute anyway <laughs> i'm going to be doing my nose contour I am a simple gal, so I literally just do two lines uh, straight up to my eyebrows from the bottom of my nose using that contour palette, and then I use my foundation shade again along the bridge of my nose and on the outside, and then butt that out, obviously, so I'm not looking crazy. Next is blush, which is one of my favorite steps in makeup, actually. This is the NARS Exhibit A blush. I've been on the hunt for like a true sort of orangey toned red for a while, and this just fit the bill, baby. So I picked it up in Sephora maybe a week ago, and it's been my love ever since. And next, finally, you guys won't have to look at my raggedy ass lips anymore. This is lipstick. So I'm using the Lime Crime Red Velvet Velveteen. A lot of people ask if I have lip injections. I don't. I think they look bomb, but I'm actually just half black, so I have not large lips and the shape that I've been digging lately is to underline my lips a little bit on the sides and over mine over mine overline my lips a little bit on the like top and bottom so make them bigger vertically but make them a little bit smaller horizontally and that's what's gonna give you that like brat stall pout and next I guess I was feeling like a masochist when I did my makeup because I did my highlighter before even starting my eyes so I used blissful from Ofer cosmetics and put it everywhere where I normally do my nose and my cheeks later on in the tutorial I'll do my inner eye but what was I thinking? And finally, we are on to eyes. So this is going to be a bit of a process. I use the Starlight Sparkle Shadow Palette from Lancome. I use the shade Arabian Nights, but literally any black eyeshadow will do. And all I'm doing is using a brow brush or an angled eyeliner brush, whatever is your preference. And I'm just creating a big old wing on my eyelid and extending it out towards my eyebrow. I had a little bit of trial and error trying to fill in the wing. I used the same angled brush trying to fill it in so it could be really precise. And that wasn't getting me the pigmentation 
pigmentation I needed. You could try wetting the shadow, but eventually I just decided to use the angled brush for the very, very, very tip of the wing and then using my finger for the rest. Next from the other palette in the Lancome Holiday Collection, I'm gonna be taking this sparkly black shade and just patting that all over my eye with my finger to add a little bit of dimension to the wing that we already got. Next is mascara. I have such stubby, sad <laughs> lower lashes that to me the mascara doesn't really matter, so use whatever is your favorite. I would recommend black. And lashes, as always, these are a game changer for me. These are Coco Lashes in Stella. I have worn them every single day for over two years. They are my go-to and the only lashes that matter in my life. They're also $7. Uh, this is not sponsored, but if you guys wanna check them out, they're awesome. And that's it, like I said, it is super, super easy. If you got to the end of this video, number one, thank you. Number two, leave a whale emoji in the comments so I know who made it to the very end. Thank you so much for being my friend today. Uh, what is my outro? Oh, thank you so much for being my friend today and always, and I will see you guys in the next one very soon. Bye guys.